morning everybody this is k balakrishna presently we are dealing with the subject called as strategic management in the la in in this stage we will be having a complete inputs regarding all the phases of strategic management presently we are dealing with the last phase of the strategic management that is strategic control first phase is the strategic formulation second phase is the strategic analysis third stage is the strategic implementation fourth stage is the strategic evaluation and the last stage will be the strategic control strategic control is a is a phase where the resources available to the strategy execution will be controlled will be managed will be successfully monitored will be successfully supervised whether the goal attainment is reached or not is being checked in the strategic evaluation and the resources are allocated in a proper manner in case of strategic control now i'll be sharing you a screen which clearly says what are the various types of strategic control and what are the other aspects of strategic control together first of all we have to know what do you mean by strategic control strategic control is a process of monitoring the ongoing activities means the existing performance of the strategy the current performance of the strategy is monitored supervised controlled regulated by a particular mechanism called as strategic control it uh, after seeing the deviations which are present in the strategic performance necessary action is taken by the organization this necessary action or corrective action is done when the deviations are observed if the deviations are not present then there is no necessity of taking a corrective action in the strategic process management process next one is strategic control is always linked with the strategic evaluation phase here the, this is performed after the strategy is executed and it tracks the strategic implementation phase completely it checks whether it first set the standards it check whether the existing performance is good or bad it checks the deviations that is the difference between actual and standard if the deviations are high necessary action is taken if the deviations are low then the strategy actions or need not be progressive what are the types of strategic control strategic control totally depends upon certain types of environment certain types of assumptions these assumptions can be better called premises we can clearly say that the assumptions taken in the controlling process can be called as premises this premises or assumptions will be continually designed and systematically articulated and verified so that the organization and strategic performance is recorded second one is called as implementation control it is a step by step process it is a sequence used process it is a systematic process in this step what they will do they will assess whether the existing strategy is implemented properly or not there are two types of implemented con implementation controls first one will help you to track the feedback regarding the strategy and second one the this process of tracking the feedback regarding the strategy is called as monitoring strategic trust or projects second one is called as review milestones in which the strategic performance is checked of a specific period of time continuously so here it is very important because it is a it is not a single phase evaluation but this evaluation takes place continuously from time to time what is called as special alert control special alert control usually takes place in emergency situations when the conditions demand sometimes the company may be in losses but all of a sudden it takes a day decision for a growth strategy this is an emergency strategy which is launched and the execution of such strategy is a complicated task so here all decisions taken during that stage that strategy execution are will be coming under special alert control 
here to manage the emergency situations, certain amount of assessment and certain amount of resources need to be allocated. Next is called a strategic surveillance control. Strategic surveillance control is a monitoring control, which includes not only controlling the inside or internal environment, but also controlling the external or outside environment of the company. What is the mechanism of strategic control? First and the foremost stage in strategic control is they set the standards. Setting standards is not a simple task. It is the most complicated task. If the standards are not realistic, can anyone achieve the means, achieve the goals? Can any strategy can be treated as a successful strategy? No, certainly not. So setting a standard is a very, very crucial step and this determines whether that strategy is successful or not. After standards are set, then the actual performance is recorded. After proper, actual performance must be recorded by, and it must be completely unbiased. It must be completely unfavoritism must be seen by the evaluators to check the actual performance. Next one is they compare the actual performance with the standard. Actual performance with the standard in the sense, the actual performance is noted and the standard performance is already set and they compare whether the results of the strategy are with the standards or not. If the results of the strategy match with the standards, there's no problem. Strategy can be considered as successful. But if the, result, the results of the strategy are deviating from the standards, then such a step is called as deviation stage. And, uh, and the reasons why the deviations have occurred is called as analyzing the deviation. In this step, they will see how much below is the performance of the strategy. In this step, they will also focus what, are, what is the reasons for the deviation, what are the causes for the deviation, how the deviations can be rectified, and whether the standards are set in right condition or not, whether the strategy is able to meet the standards or not, all these is checked. And the last step will be called as taking a corrective action. Taking a corrective action in the, is usually takes place when the deviations are maximum. If the deviations are minimum, no need of any corrective action. But if the deviations are maximum, certain amount of corrective actions must be taken by the organization so that a corrective action is initiated and the strategic performance can be measured, evaluated, controlled, supervised, regulated, monitored, and other things. In fact, to say that first step will be the standard setting step is the base step for all the strategies. And if the deviations are noticed, then they will verify whether the standards are accurate or not. If the standards are too high to be achieved, then they reduce the standard levels. This is a small introduction regarding what is a strategic control process. First step will be the setting standards. Next step will be the measuring the actual performance. Now, after measuring the actual performance, they are compared with the standard performance. And the difference between actual and standard is called as deviation. If the deviation is too high, they check the standards. If the standards are accurate, then they say that the deviations are must be rectified. If the deviation must be rectified, then necessary action must be taken. That is either the resources must be increased or else there, there must also be a chance that instead of, uh, allocate, instead of allocating more and more resources, the strategy can be null and void. Or sometimes if the resources are need to be punished and if the resources are available, the company furnishes the resources. Thank you.